hopefully you're having a great week. And today, as you can see in the title, beet salad. <laughs> what do you need? You need turkey sausage by Butterball. And it's the, this kind, and this is the way the packaging looks. You also need three eggs, two tomatoes, some beets. You need two forks and you also need sliced beets in the can. Now I got these at Kroger's for I think it's about um, a buck or so. Not even a buck fifty. Buck seventy five. Yeah, buck seventy five. So you only need one can unless you want to do more salads. Also, you need some sweet and sour sauce. I'm not going to use all of this. Just a little bit. I'll show you what I'm going to use. You need some mustard and some honey. Okay. For the meat, you need to bake the fish sticks for 16 to 18 minutes until they are completely like that. Um, the turkey, turkey sausage, I cut them up. I baked them. Or you can farm if you like to farm, but I baked them this time. I'm also going to need some romaine lettuce. And it looks like Next, you want to take the beets. Uh, make sure you drain the juice off, or you can just take them out like this. And just kind of let it drain over the side. We'll just stab them with the fork. It's going to be juice already in there. You don't have to have the juice. You can use that for like a smoothie or something if you want to. But you let it drain and then put it over the salad. I've already took out some. I took out about three. Actually, six of them. So, the next thing you want to do is... They're already sliced, but you want to go ahead and slice them again. Oh, I forgot a step. Um, you want to slice them again. Just little bitty slices like this. On the side here. Okay. I've sliced them up like that.
you can bring the camera close up here so they can see the slices. Okay, I have sliced them up all the way right there. Now all you need to do is place them on top of the salad. That's one way. If you don't mind it being um, plain beet salad. And then you can put whatever dressing you like. Now, this is the way, this is another way of making a baked beet salad. Is taking all of the beets and placing honey. Nothing, well actually, just mustard, mustard by itself. If you like mustard, then this will be a perfect thing, perfect salad for you. But if you like, okay, put it this way. If you like a salty type taste, then just mustard. But if you like a sweet and sour type taste, then you want to do the sweet and sour together. If you want... Um, just beets then just put beets in whatever salad dressing you would like to do um, but I'm going to use mustard only by itself and basically you just take the mustard and put it all over the beets mix the beets and the mustard together. Okay. And next you take the beets out. This is a very good salad because you find a way to eat the beets without tasting the taste. <laughs> You're tasting mustard instead of the usual. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is add the sausage. And it doesn't matter where you add the sausage you add it. And the next thing I'm going to do is slice up some eggs. I've already boiled the egg until it was hard. This is called a boiled egg. But I'm slicing it up just like that. All over the salad. And you need about three eggs to make these salads. You can let, you can use the white of the egg only. Just the white and not the yolk if you want to. But I just like the yolk taste. But if you don't like the yolk taste, you don't have to put the yolk in. Okay. If you want to, you can add a little honey to go all over the salad. Now I'm adding the honey right now. Okay. Now this is the final touch of the beet salad, the first beet salad. I have egg white, egg yolks, turkey sausage, Romaine lettuce, tomatoes, honey, and beets with mustard. That's the first one. Of course, you need a spoon. Now we're going to go to the second salad. This is the romaine lettuce. We start off with it. We'll set this one over here. We'll go to this one. Now, this time, I'm going to use fish sticks, but I'm still going to use 
the uh, beets. I'm going to start off with the fish sticks. You basically just cut them up and place them all over. Now if you like them whole, you can put them whole like this. You can just place them whole over it if you want to. This kind of reminds me of croutons. So I thought, what can we do instead of croutons? So I thought fish sticks. So I added fish sticks. Now you can add the same mustard beets, mustard and beets together on this salad as well if you want to. But you can get as creative as you want to with this salad. And you don't have to use fish sticks, you can use salmon and put that over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the beets, all of them. I have three here, and I'm just going to slice them just like I did two minutes ago. I'm going across, just making little bitty slices. And you're going to notice that some red juice is going to come out of them. Just be very careful because it will stain anything that it gets on. And it's kind of hard to get, get it out. Get it off once it stains. Okay. I have all the beets in here now. This time, I'm going to use sweet and sour sauce. This is not open, so I'm going to have to open it. They always have these hard tabs on them. Sometimes that is so annoying. But they have to protect us, right? <laughs> and I don't like it because I always have to pull and I'm just going to use a knife. This off very quick. All right, I got that off. Now it's open. Okay. Now I'm going to put the sweet and sour sauce in here. And I'm going to mix it up just like that. And by the way, this is your dressing. Unless you want to add more honey, you can use more honey. You can put more mustard if you want. It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slice the, the um, tomatoes. You don't have to put the tomatoes over there. You can actually put them on the side, and that way the person can determine whether they want um, that on there, or you can just place them on top. And this, you just spread it out all over the salad. And the sweet and sour sauce kind of masks the the beets. 
Okay, we're going to use the rest of the egg and put it on top of the salad. And there's no real way to do this. Just slice everything up and put it whatever you like on your salad. But just add the beets. That's the only thing. And again, if you don't want to use the egg yolk, you don't have to. Okay, now this is what I was talking about. This, you're going to see, it, this means that it wasn't all the way drained. But that's okay. You can actually pour it over the salad if you want to. Just mix it up with a little honey and pour it over the salad. If you want to. Okay. Set these dishes aside. And now I'm going to add the final touch, which will be. Now you can either put mustard over this if you want to, or honey. But I'm going to choose honey this time again. And I put honey as the final touch. Okay. Now both salads are ready to rumble. And it only took me what, five minutes? Okay, we have two salads. We have this one, which is fish sticks, boiled eggs, tomatoes, um, beets with um, sweet and sour sauce, lots of honey, and romaine lettuce at the bottom. We have this one with turkey sausage, tomatoes, boiled eggs, romaine lettuce at the bottom, and um, beets with, did I put honey? No, I didn't do honey, it was mustard. <laughs> okay, so these are the two beet salads, and as you can see, they look very delicious and very nutritious. Try them and let me know what you thought. Have a good day. Bye.